Hello everyone, I welcome you to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to install Postman in Windows 10 operating system. And then I will also show you how to use Postman. So let's begin. Now to install Postman, you need to first download it. So for that just simply go to your favorite browser and in here just simply type Postman download then enter and then you'll be seeing this www.postman.com is basically our first search result so now just click on download postman and this will you know going to redirect you to this official site of postman and in here you'll be seeing this download the app button so just you know, simply click on that and you'll be getting these two options one is windows 32 bit operating system and another is this windows 64 bit operating system i'm going to use this postman for 64 bit operating system so what i'll be doing is i'll be simply clicking on this windows 64 bit and this is you know, going to start downloading our postman since i have already downloaded it i just you know simply cancel it and if i just simply minimize my browser and if i simply go to my download directory you can clearly see this postman 8.9.0 has been you know, rightly downloaded over here to install just you know, simply double click on it and let us first minimize our download directory and as you can see our postman has been you know rightly launched telling that it's now currently installing postman so our postman is currently initializing and it has you know rightly launched so in here they are asking to create a free account since i have already a free account i am going to you know simply click on this uh, shine in and i'm going to you know, just sign in but if you are new to postman you need to just you know, simply click on this create for your account and this will you know going to open your browser for signing up in here you need to provide your email address username password and then just you know simply click on create free account and by clicking this you will be getting a link confirmation link in your email id you need to just you know simply verify that email and then again come back to over here right so uh, since i have already an account what i'll be doing is i'll be you know simply first cancel it over here and then we going to sign in so for that just you know simply click on sign in and in here i need to you know simply log in so i'm using my email id for logging in And then just you know, simply click on sign in. And this will you know going to sign in and if just you know simply click on open postman and and in here as you can see I have you know rightly signed in. So our postman is now currently launching. So our dashboard is going to be created in a while. So if you just simply maximize it, this is basically our dashboard. In here, you can create a team. So for that, you need to just simply click on create team and you can do that. But I am you know don't want to create any team since I am going to only use this. So what I'll be doing is I'll be you know just simply click on this workspace. And then just you know, simply click on new workspace. And in here you need to give a workspace name. So let's give a workspace name as a test. And then under this visibility, you need to just you know, simply click on personal since I am only going to use it. And then just you know, simply click on create workspace. And this is you know, going to create your workspace. As you can see, this workspace is now currently creating. So here, as you can see, our test workspace has been, you know, rightly created. So to test any API, you need to just, you know, simply click on this tab. And this will, you know, going to open a new tab where you can, you know, just simply paste your URL over here. I have already one URL taken from this fake store API. So here you can see we have this JSON format. So ID, then title, and then, you know, this is basically title. And then we have description. And finally, we have category 
and we have images image links as well so just you know just simply click on this address bar and just copy this api link and then if you just simply paste it over here this api link and you just you know simply set it to get and just you know simply click on send button you can see this api has been you know rightly fetched this json format has been you know rightly shown over here in here let's say you want to you know check this image you need to just you know, simply click on this image so this will you know going to open a new tab and then you need to just you know, again simply click on send and this will you know going to fetch that image inside this url so this image has been you know rightly fetched over here similarly just if you go back to the previous tab and let's say you want to fetch this image so again just you know simply click on that and then you need to again simply click on send and this new image has been you know rightly fetched so you can use this uh, postman to you know test your api so you can do this post put delete all this popular you know http verbs you can easily do that in your postman to test basically your api so that's basically all about this video i have rightly shown you how to install postman and then i have also shown you how to use them so that's basically all about this video. Thank you very much for watching this video and God bless you all.